Thank you for clicking on this link. So today I'm going to be doing wait. I know that some of you who are not aware of this time, when you saw first, your head just started going to something, something. <laughs> oh my god, guys, that's the same way I felt the first day I saw this tag. I first saw this tag on this Cameroonian YouTuber's channel. Uh, Victorine B. Takwe, she's this amazing makeup artist and she has a beautiful channel. I've talked about her for on my top 10 um, Cameroonian YouTubers that I just love, love to watch their videos. So I'm going to leave her link in the description box. I'll try to leave the link up here so that will make it easy. You can just click on it and go and watch her. See, this girl is amazing. She's so pretty. Mm -hmm. She's so pretty. So, <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that's where I saw that tag from and I just said this tag is the kind of tag I would like to do anytime soon so yes guys that is what we are going to be doing today so I just went online and I looked for questions for this tag right I got a couple of them and those are the questions I am going to be answering today it's just basically me answering questions about my first time on varied things different things so the first question is what is the first app you check when you wake up every morning <laughs> the first app i check is my youtube studios guys i'm obsessed like that each time i sleep and wake up there are actually two either i check my youtube studios or i check whatsapp I mostly would check WhatsApp if I slept, I was having this heated, interesting discussion with somebody and I fell asleep. So when I wake up, I'm just like, oh my God, let me go and hear that gist. Let me continue gisting with this person to hear what they said or read what they said. So obviously that's what I go. But for my YouTube studios, I go there because I don't know, I'm, I'm YouTube addict guys. I go there first cause I just want to see cause um, my money, how they say, the money I make, it um, updates mostly in the night. So when I'll get up in the morning, I want to see, oh my God, how much did I make for this video? How much, how much cost? I need money, guys. So when I wake up, the first thing that I'll be checking is my money. Okay, the next thing is, who is the first YouTuber you subscribe to? Um, the first YouTuber I subscribed to was a Cameroonian YouTuber, and that is Fonken Dolly. That's when I was when I started YouTube. Uh, I just started looking, and I saw. Is it when I started? When I know yet started, I was just looking. When I started getting fascinated by YouTube, I was looking, and I went and typed somewhere Cameroonian YouTuber, and she came up. I watched a couple of her videos. I found her really interesting and cute too. So I, that was the first person I subscribed to. And who was your first celebrity crush? <laughs> guys i'm laughing because some people might laugh at me when i tell you my first celebrity crush but my first celebrity crush was eddie murphy i was crazy about eddie murphy because of coming to america to me i was in like class four that was i was like seven eight years old i was crazy i was like oh my god eddie murphy the prince the prince for me he was the cutest guy that ever existed like I was crushing on him when I was in primary school, guys. Like to me, the Prince of Zamunda was the cutest man. So that was my first crush. When was the first time you cooked? I can never forget the first time I cooked. And that's because, guys, I started cooking very late. My mom was always going to have us there when, we're, when she's cooking. You know, she'll have us there, but you don't touch her pot. So I grew up always being in the kitchen but for me to cook myself nah i never cooked so it's i only learned how to cook like i touched a pot to cook when i was in the university and that was when i was like 18 years old so normally i'll fry normal egg or make gary but to cook like cook a meal my first time that i cooked was when i was in the university when i just got into the university and it was during my sister's graduation a lot of people were coming to the house and stuff like that so they asked me to cook a roll that was my first meal 
that yeah so i was cooking a record i remember i even got stuck i had to go and call one of my cousins my agent and ask her please come and help me to come and help me to see if this area is coming out well so yeah that was the first time i cooked and then the next thing is how was your first boyfriend experience hey guys um my first boyfriend experience that was when i was in form four i think i was 15 like that 15 16. i think i was 15 years old when i had my first boyfriend see guys hey see when the boy sees me my whole face would just be red i was i was shy and i can never forget the first that went and visited him in their house and when they we just sat on the chair just sat like that and then when i was going i can remember he bought me biscuits he bought me those this biscuit puree biscuits he bought me those biscuits he bought me a drink and then he put it inside this black takeaway rack <laughs> that's what i took now and um i carried it and it was like let me go and see me off at the road guys we're going hey where we're going now this my boyfriend now he holds he held my hand hey god oh, i was shy my face see me saying the story now i'm still blushing oh my god <laughs> I was so shy. He held my hand. We walked. That guy was living kind of far, so we had to walk for almost 15 minutes to get to where I'll get a taxi to go home. Oh my god. See, I was ashamed. I was like, oh my god, everybody will just be thinking now that I'm a bad child. How can anybody be holding my hand? This guy holds my hand until we went down. <laughs> came now got to where we have to pay a taxi he gave me my 100 pounds to pay my taxi as i took break the tax when i wanted to enter the taxi that guy gave me a peck on my cheek hey hey jesus my face was red i almost died i was like hey. jesus i entered the taxi that's why so i was ashamed i was like oh my god everybody thinks i'm such a bad person oh my god no <laughs> Why am I laughing at myself here? Yeah, so that was it. And that my first boyfriend. That peg was all that ever happened. We dated and then after some time he dumped me. So <laughs> yeah, he dumped me to date my friend and then he dated my friend. Like see, that that was just it. That was just it. What was your first tattoo? First of all, I'm not a fan of tattoos. I don't have any tattoo. I don't intend on getting any tattoos anytime soon what was your first ever concert ah i've gone only to one concert all my life oh hey i cannot never forget i was working at stv so we went for flavors concert i went with violet violet has a youtube channel here too oh oh my god we had so much fun see guys we were reporters you don't have to go and you start jumping on stage and dancing anyhow see guys i've always been wondering like why do people when they go for concert they're shouting they're screaming they're dancing as in i knew that was a hot babe i'm not going to go and start jumping and dancing and singing i'm just going to compose myself because i am a journalist i've come here to report see guys hey 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 since we're backstage now, Flavor now comes and they had to pass hide him and pass so that people should not know that he has come. See guys, I stood like this. Flavor came, I was standing with my other two friends who came to also cover the, the event. As Flavor passed, I started shouting. I don't, we all started shouting, the three of us. We did not even understand. See, we started shouting. That was only when we saw him and then he just smiled like you know that kind of i'm a bad guy <laughs> see baby girls tripping for me <laughs> he now went when the time that i shouted the next we went to the office they almost sacked us see guys when <laughs> he came and he started singing oh my god i was shouting i started crying i was like hey kenna is this you <laughs> i was shouting i started crying like, oh my god flavor i never liked flavor that much but from that day hey I, 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 i've been a favorite fan since then flavor was performing and then he got to this part at his concert he was like he wants 10 girls the 10 first girls to climb on stage see i was standing with my friend and I, as he said 10 girls guys i started looking for my friend i wanted to see oh my god my friend and colleague was on stage oh, dancing i was like ah 
sister she had already jumped and climbed on the stage i was like wonder foolish never ends <laughs> so guys that was it like we had so much fun at that concert we came back we did not cover anything they nearly fired us they were like what did you people go to do there until we gave you back backstage pass what did you people go to do there so yes that's my first concert experience it was so much fun like ah no 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 i understand why people cry at concerts and feel so excited the thing it has one one beautiful feel like that the next thing is what was your first heartbreak let me see hmm. Hmm. <laughs> guys this my heart is too strong i'm trying to see i think my first heartbreak would be the person i actually considered my first boyfriend because guys honestly when i I, like I said, my first boyfriend that I said held my hand and stuff were in secondary school. I was in form four. That was me really young. So I wouldn't say I was in a relationship like that. So all through, I was just having those same kind of relationship where people hold your hand, you walk, you laugh, <laughs> he goes and lives in your house, he pecks you. Like that was it. But when I got to, when I was going to Upper City, that is when I started dating this person. So I think. That is the person I'll consider my first boyfriend because he was first everything. So yeah, this person we're talking about here, <laughs> I hope he's not watching this video. This person I'm talking about here, that's my first heartbreak. See guys, <laughs> when I remember the day, I actually laughed. See guys, he dumped me. Oh. I cannot remember what happened. He can better explain but he was, you know, Dubai, he started acting funny. I insisted, went to see him, went to his house. Ah, ah. This guy, he just broke my heart. I was there crying. Oh my God, you cannot do me. <laughs> and sometimes when I cry a lot, I get an attack. So inside that, oh my God, you did, 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 did. <laughs> Oh my God, I had an asthma attack. He had to hurry since we've been dating for almost three years. He had to hurry bring me my spray he gave me my inhaler i inhaled it i calmed down then see me now i start telling him don't tell anybody this thing ever happened don't tell anybody <laughs> which he told people and which i found out later but yes that was my first heartbreak see guys but the next day i was on to the next though after all that drama i was on to the next the next question is who was the first person you texted today? I don't even think I've texted anybody because I've been shooting all day. Let me see. Uh, ah, the first person I texted today was actually Gretel. Uh, my friend that I pranked in one of my videos. That's the first person I texted because I post I put up a post on my WhatsApp and she came and said amen. So I put a smiley emoji and then she came and wrote. I posted my video for today and she came and wrote. She was about to ask my july video so that's the first person i texted today and then the next question is tell us about the first time you got drunk <laughs> oh my god guys i'm not sure i've ever gotten drunk drunk have i, I i'm not on alcohol i don't take alcohol like see i, I like things that are sweet i've said that all the week before i don't like alcohol that much tipsy I get tipsy all the time because I'm always trying to claim bad girl. I'll go and start drinking Amarola and Bailey's and then I get tipsy. But what I know is I laugh a lot. When I just start getting high, I'll just be laughing like one fool. <laughs> Every single thing. <laughs> oh my god, maybe I'm laughing like this because I'm tipsy. <laughs> yeah, so that's just me. When I hmm Jesus, I just start laughing. <laughs> Everything. I'll just be laughing like one mad man. That's one thing I know. Maybe I did some other thing, but I really cannot tell what was your first job. My first job was a journalist at a radio, Christian radio station in Boya, because that is what I studied, journalism and mass communication. While I was getting, uh, well, on the year that I was graduating, that is when I did that job. The next thing was, who was your first best friend and do you still talk? My first best friend was Laura Bakari. We were friends from class 3 primary school and I had to move from Bamenda when I was class 7, when I was coming to secondary school, I had to move from Bamenda to Boya so the closeness was no longer there so that was my first best friend 
and then when she came to the university we reunited but that closed the bond the bond was still there but we're not as close as possible as we were before because we had all grown so yes i used to talk to her but i think it has been since i started my channel i don't think i've talked to her i think i last talked to her like three years ago but yeah i'm on her social media she's on my social media so we can talk anytime we want to talk and your first piercing my first and only piercing is this one and this is and it's even more than me to wear earrings on my ear so why would i be that's my first piercing and this was the piercing my mom did for me i don't have any other piercings anywhere and i'm I, i'm not even thinking of doing any piercing. and then the last question i've been contemplating whether to answer this or not how was your first time i did not enjoy my first time it was horrible i did not want to do it i just gave in to pressure i was not that young guys i was in the university i was not that young hmm? i did it i did not like it i did not do it again for like the next eight months <laughs> I just stayed like that like I did not like it and what really made me to feel really mad at the end was you know when some people do it and then they bleed and stuff like that my first time I did not bleed I don't know why like obviously everybody does not bleed so I did not bleed and the person I was with that's the person I called my first boyfriend he was so annoying because after doing it he was like uh-huh mm -hmm. You do and so you don't you die you die you know die that was the first thing that he said and i was like and then he was like he's not i'm not even the first person to do it because apparently he's i he it was his first time and it was my first time so he's like apparently it's you're not the first i'm not the first person to do it with you because you do not bleed and then he said you don't do it now so you don't die so that just brought me off the wrong way guys i just i just shut down like i did not do anything like that we're still dating but i don't do anything like that with that guy with that boyfriend of mine for the longest time i don't do no i did not do anything with him till eight months later that's when i even started thinking like i'm open to that so yeah guys that is it i don't even know whether i'll add this last part that i just talked about it's something that i don't like talking about um i hope you enjoy watching this video thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you on the next one love you bye